Chicago Robinson was a little bit more nervous than usual headed into this upcoming game because it was the playoffs and his team was the Super Bowl favorites this year. In the first round, they were taking on the 9-7 Atlanta Falcons who just barely made the playoffs this year and were led by Matt Ryan who posted a pretty decent season statistically. Will Washington walk on to an easy win this round like they're predicted to or will Atlanta come in and force the upset? Washington would get the ball for the first time here in the second quarter. Their defense on the field the entire first quarter would give up a field goal so the Falcons would be up three to nothing. Robinson back to throw across the middle that's going to be completed to Cooley. He would be down into Atlanta territory. Robinson back to throw at the 50 launching one deep to the end zone that's going to be knocked in complete. Second and 10 now under center single setback pressure coming he gets it off in time but that would fall incomplete bringing up third and 10 back to throw right side again that's going to be completed to Paul and he's going to take it to the end zone. Washington would get on the board for the their first time today as they would go up seven to three moving to the third quarter it's going to be a handoff to halu here he's taking it right side he's going to run over to one defender down the right sideline he would be pushed out of bounds inside atlanta territory backed up to a first and 18 now that's almost intercepted but instead would fall incomplete as now robinson again almost intercepted bringing up third and 18 pressure coming he gets it off in time this time to hankerson who has the first down and more down the right sideline into the end zone for another washington touchdown as they're still up by three it's 14 to 11 fourth quarter here as pressure gets to him barely gets that off in time though for an incomplete pass robinson now under center back to throw left side almost intercepted in and out of the hands of the atlanta defender going right side now winfield has that on the check down as they would be going for it on fourth down to keep this game alive right side knocked incomplete paul could not hold on to it so we would have to watch the defense take over and thankfully they would hold on as Washington is going to walk away with a victory over Atlanta. And that will be moving us on to the conference championship as Chicago Robinson wins player of the game. Not the greatest of games from Chicago this round of the playoffs as he'll have to play much better against the second seeded Buccaneers if his team wants to clinch a trip back to the Super Bowl this year. Washington would start with the ball a little earlier than they did last game as it's going to be a handoff to Mays under a minute to go in the first quarter and he's going to take this to the house for a touchdown first play from offense Washington is going to score on the days off to Mays again he would pick up the first down let's keep it going Mays again up the middle hurtling over a defender he's going to pick up eight yards on that play Robinson now back to throw rolling to the right he's going to dump it off to Mays he has been having a very productive day so far he's now setting up the halfback screen can't get it off in time to Mays as now Robinson right side connects with Cooley he makes a defender miss down inside the 20 down to the 17 of Tampa Bay Robinson stepping up connects with Mays on the check down his second reception of the day Robinson in the shotgun now looking pressure coming he gets it off in time to Cooley but they would be just short of the first down so they would settle for a field goal and go up seven as Robinson on his feet this time he's gonna pick up the first down bringing up second and seven going left side he has Armstrong in between the cover two as he would pick up the first from the 27 Mays again he has some room to run down inside the five yard line down to the two first in goal to go Winfield in motion Robinson looking connects with Winfield for a touchdown and Washington is going to extend this lead 17 to 3 as Mays is off again but that would be brought back on a holding call so why not give it to him to have him do it again as he picks up 20 on this carry second and five under two minutes to go Mays again carrying us to victory here as he would pick up the first down now on third and 11 it's Halu's time to get some action going as he would pick up the first down and with 20 seconds left to go Robinson would take a knee and Washington is going to win the NFC championship game again and Ramon Mays had himself a day as your player of the game as it is going to be another star quarterback matchup in this year's Super Bowl but New England has more than just Brady that Washington will have to deal with on their side of the ball so let's see if she Chicago Robinson can finally get his first Super Bowl ring or if the GOAT Tom Brady will add another one to his legacy. Washington's defense would get a stop on New England's first possession as Robinson and the offense getting a chance here that's going to be connected to Cooley down into New England territory at the 31 Ramon Mays looking to have himself another big game today as he would bring that down to the 18 handoff to Mays again bouncing off some defenders as he would pick up six yards on that carry now man in motion pressure coming Robinson can't get it off in time he would go down for a loss 
Third and 12, looking across the middle. That's completed to Winfield. He would have the first down, first and goal from the five. Ramon May slipping one tackle, but is short. Second and goal from the four. Robinson now back to throw, scrambling around. He's going to take it himself into the end zone for a touchdown. New England would tie it up, however, at seven apiece. So Washington is looking to score here and try to head to the locker room ahead of New England. First and 10, just barely getting that off in time. That would be completed to Cooley for a first down. Second and nine now, Paul has it down to the one yard line, just short as Halu's gonna take it in for a touchdown. And New England would tie it back up at 14 apiece as we head to the second half here. First and 10, play action. Robinson hit as he throws. That would fall incomplete. Second and 10 now. Pressure coming again. He's going to get it off to Winfield along the right side. Down into New England territory. Second and eight. Left side. That's going to fall incomplete. Third and eight now. Looking to pick up this first down. Robinson completes it to Hankerson on the slant route. Fresh set of downs for the Washington offense. Robinson all day in the pocket going right side. He's going to connect with Cooley. But they would ultimately rule that incomplete as he wouldn't have possession all the way down. Down. Robinson says I'll do it myself he picks up the first down on his feet from the New England 11 he's hitting the backfield drop for a loss of 7 third and 17 that's overthrown as Washington would go up 17 to 14 now as we move to the fourth quarter all they need to do is run the clock out here but they're gonna be stopped on third down and we would have to watch our defense and hope they would get a stop and we would do just that as Washington would hold on to win and Chicago Robinson finally has a Super Bowl title to his name. Now this is a perfect place for us to call it quits on this series, but Chicago Robinson still has so much more to accomplish, and I want to continue watching his NFL career unfold. So next episode, Chicago and his team are going to get ready to run it back in Season 4. The first notable move that happened this offseason was tight end Chris Cooley retiring, and Washington would select his replacement with their first round pick. They would then take Lennox Phillips in the second round, free safety Cameron Hawkins in the third round. Much needed offensive line help with guard Benjamin Evald in the fourth. Would trade away their fifth and take a sixth round pick in a third string running back and cornerback Trace Dickerson with their final pick of the draft. Ramon Mays has progressed to an 87 overall this offseason which we love to see but I still feel like Jared Winfield hasn't progressed enough overall as our number one option along with the rest of the receiving core. The offensive line somehow managed to get worse this past offseason, and Chicago did say that would be a make or break for him this year. So, who knows? Even though he's still under contract for six more years, this could possibly be his last year with Washington. 